My name is Heather Entrican. I am a retired American Baptist pastor. My husband and I have been members of First Baptist Church for four years since we moved to this area. I was delighted to be asked to help guide our church's stewardship season this fall, although some people have said stewardship during a pandemic, that's going to be hard. I disagree. Honestly, what better time than a pandemic to talk about stewardship? We have an opportunity like never before to consider who we are down deep, what really matters, and what we're going to do about it. Stewardship means the careful and responsible management of something that has been entrusted to us, taking good, loving care of something that is precious and important. At First Baptist, we understand that we are called to care for God's people and creation by doing justice and loving mercy and walking humbly with God and with one another to grow in faith. In a world overflowing with chaos and distrust and meanness, this is what is good. One way that we practice good stewardship is by our giving to the church giving of time, energy, ideas, and also money. Sometimes it's hard to talk about the money part. I didn't learn how to do this very well growing up in my family, where money was always a source of stress and conflict. But how we spend our money says a lot about who we are and what we care about. At First Baptist, we have the opportunity to give to something good, a community that is seeking to follow and serve God with courage and integrity and faithfulness. This is a church that tries to welcome everyone, that loves and teaches and respects the littlest ones to the oldest ones among us, and reaches out as far as we can to care for God's people and God's creation. This has not stopped because of a pandemic. In fact, our creative, dedicated pastors are finding new and wonderful ways to be God's church that will not end when the pandemic does. We give because giving is what God's people do. Generosity is one of the fruits of God's spirit. We don't give to pay bills, although our gifts do pay bills, and that is important. But more importantly, our gifts show our trust in God, and they honor God's trust in us. So here's the invitation. Receive the stories and the preaching and the teaching about stewardship, generous and faithful giving, these next four weeks, and listen for God's call and invitation to you to grow in your own generosity and trust in God. And then, have fun using the new digital pledge form. Thank you, church.